Hey guys, it's CSFan001 here for part 9 of Let's Play Minecraft PS4. Last time, we went into this cave and found a decent amount of material, mostly iron and some coal. Excuse me there. Uh, this time, we are going to exit and we are going to resupply and head off to a new location. We just dug straight up there. Now, that is technically a threat that you can do is uh, digging a hole straight up or down. Oh, look at this. I saw some iron right there. We need that iron. So that is kind of a dangerous move that some people might recommend against is digging straight up or straight down. The reason being, you don't know what's right above you and you don't know what's right below you. And that can be literally anything. That can be you might fall right on top of a dungeon. You might fall right into a thing of diamonds. You might fall right into a pit of lava or dig up right under a pit of lava. And that's the most likely scenario. So you do want to be quite careful when you're doing that. So yeah, that's the warning for that. That's why you don't usually dig straight up or straight down. It's one of the dumber ways to die in Minecraft as it might be known. All right, so let's see, how do we get back? All right, pretty much straight. Unfortunately, it appears to be nighttime, but it may also be turning to daytime, which is definitely good. Okay, all this looks pretty familiar. Could swim, but we're just gonna take the sort of longer way around. So yeah, today our goal, we want to smelt this iron and basically resupply our tools and our food in preparation for another cave exploration somewhere because that was a decent amount of supplies, but it wasn't really a whole lot. That wasn't that big of a cave, unless I probably missed an area, which is possible. But that wasn't really a very big area, as far as I could tell, and there wasn't really a lot of, like, supplies in it and stuff, so... We definitely want to keep finding more caves so we can try to get more of the rare materials that are certainly necessary. Ah, uh, let's eat these melons here so we can sprint again. Maybe they are worth exactly one. I thought they were worth like 0.75 of one food or something. I guess not. At least we haven't taken really any damage. And it looks like we got a giant old hill right here, but that's pretty much it. Is there anything else here that I can use? Not really. I see some sugar cane down there. That might be helpful in the future. We're gonna need that for paper and such. And is this, what's this? Is this a uh, cave entrance? Nope. Uh, what about right over there? What was that? Anything over there? That is a cave entrance. Uh, let's just take a quick check at this one. Ooh, this one might actually be a little big. Let's check it out. Or it's completely small. Shouldn't be that big a surprise, I guess. It's kind of common that you'll think one's a big cave or a small cave and it'll turn out to be completely opposite. God, this world reminds me, like, this area of the world, for some reason, reminds me so much of, like, Minecraft Alpha. Like, the very first, like, free versions that were on, uh, the computer that you could play. It's like, I remember my friend Chase, who you guys have seen in some of my older videos, because he always used to play it some well before I ever got into it or anything. I still remember that. Good guy, I haven't talked to him in a long time, though. What else do we have up here? Just coal and stuff, and we got our trees, and crap, where's my beacon? Oh, I mean, it's an unofficial beacon, and there it is. I mean, it's about the tallest thing in the world right now, so it's probably pretty solid, and I see what looks like a chasm here, so... We can head back this way and search out the chasm area as soon as I can resupply. That'll actually be a pretty good way to uh, get some more stuff. All right, we not much food has grown. That's quite unfortunate. Uh, what else do I want to get here? Just look around real quick. Nothing much. Uh, head back into the base. And let's smelt us some iron. How much did I get? Okay, I got about 70 iron. That's not too bad. About 80 iron, actually. Put some more coal in. I got a mushroom somewhere. I don't really do much with mushrooms. I'm not a big fan of them in real life or in the game for that matter. Uh, the enchantment book we'll leave down below. We'll put those both in. And look at that. We now have two bows. That's actually kind of nice. I'm going to leave both of those in here for now, though. And we're going to take the more valuable stuff downstairs. And we got to do a little bit of farming. 
that away, that away. Let's do a bit of farming here. Uh, first things first, we're gonna need some wheat. Looks like a decent amount's growing, which is definitely a positive. We need as much wheat as I can get so I can breed some cows, get some steaks, get all that good stuff. The steaks heal a lot more than any one piece of other food. Uh, let's get these seeds out and start cutting down. Get all those. It'll be so nice when I can eventually have like an auto harvesting machine and stuff like that to where I'll need like, I need to do some, check some tutorials for that stuff because I've never been big into the redstone creations. I've always found them to be a little complicated, especially on the PS4 version where they don't always work correctly. So I'll have to look up some tutorials on how to do some of that stuff, but I will definitely learn how to do that because that will be quite helpful once I can get the materials for it. Okay, got as much of that as possible. I didn't get that much though. Got some pumpkins. We do have some melons here. Let's harvest these melons. Melons just don't give you that much for the amount of space they take up in your inventory. Quite unfortunate. All right, now that we got some wheat, let's feed the cows. Hello, cows. I'm looking for some steaks tonight. I love steak. And you guys look quite appetizing. All right, cows, uh, who's gonna be my steak for tonight? You'll be a good steak, and so we keep one extra grown out of that just so we can continue to increase the population. Got some leather, that's always good. Ooh, we got some pigs. Like I've said before, pigs are probably the most useless of the four main animals, so we are gonna get rid of them and take whatever we can from them. We got some chickens here. Let's, uh, let's feed the chickens. Hello, chickens. Who wants chicken seed? Chicken feed. And we'll continue to let their population grow because they really are in a whole lot of trouble for the most part. And I'm going to toss out some of these seeds because we definitely don't need that many. Okay, looks like the iron's done in here. Which means I can fill this one up now with pork chops. Uh, nothing in there. We'll put the egg in here. Got the iron to go downstairs. Oh, the leather. We'll put that in here for now until I can build, you know, books and stuff. Now we're just going to let that food go. And let's see. We're going to need, I need probably three more stone pickaxes. And I already have an iron sword in reserve, so I think I'm going to be okay on swords for the next expedition. Uh, body armor is probably doing fine. We got bricks, we got all that stuff. So I think we're going to be in decent shape for that. Let's see. Let's get those pork chops. Let's get all the iron I can out of there because that's definitely going to be helpful. This time, though, I'm going to have more than enough food going into the next base, so that's definitely a positive. So I say we head on out. Alright, so I remember seeing that whole sort of area of chasms right over here. And look at that, here they are. But these don't look like very deep chasms, so kind of unfortunate that they probably won't have a whole lot in them. Anything at all. Okay, here we go, this one, this one runs a little bit deeper. Oh, hello zombie, hello. Uh, sword? 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 Oh, I forgot to put that egg away, really. Well, that's unfortunate. That one's probably gonna go to waste then. Probably throw it at a zombie or something. Ooh, look at this. This cave does run kind of deep. Uh, let's block the water. That ought to make, uh, traversing this area a bit easier. Down there, nope, but we do have some iron right here, so let's get all this iron. Just really need to resupply as much as possible so we can start working on all the more advanced stuff and eventually have the confidence and the ability to really go a lot deeper into these areas and try to find diamonds that we're gonna desperately need. See some iron right there, but is there anything else up here? Any zombies? Nope. Oh wow, I tried to just mine with coal. That's probably not gonna work too well. 
Okay, let's get every piece of this iron mined. Do -do 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 -do. And we got it. So, what else do we have? Is that nothing? Hello, creeper. I'm throwing an egg at you. <laughs> it made a chicken. <laughs> oh, that's actually that was actually pretty funny timing. And it killed the chicken, so I guess that chicken did not live very long. I see some iron right there. Sorry, chicken. I was not really... I didn't expect a chicken to actually come out of that, because that's not the most common occurrence. Uh, what else do we have? Anything down there? Nope. Mine out these. Nothing else up there. What else down here? We just got... Come on, we gotta go fairly deep, though, if we want to get the better materials. Because, I mean, yeah, there's plenty of iron sort of closer to the surface, but if you want, you know, gold and diamonds and lapis and emeralds, you really have to start going a lot deeper into these caves. But a lot of them really don't go that deep. Man, that's unfortunate. Come on, game, you gotta give me a deep enough cave that I can explore. Uh, we'll take a couple of pork chops here. We'll go ahead and eat one in just a second. Yeah, I'll eat one now, actually. Oh, I should have waited a moment. Uh, what else do we have? Let's head back up here. Hello, zombie villager. You're not too common either. Uh, sometimes, yeah, you'll get a zombie villager. It's just a villager that's turned into a zombie. Uh, through a very fairly convoluted and kind of useless process, you can turn a zombie villager back into a, a villager. But it's not really that useful of a process. It really doesn't do anything, I guess, unless you can't find any villages on the map, which has been happening for me so far. I guess that's about the only way it could be kind of helpful. And what is this over here? Secret cave area. All right, I bet there's nothing in it. That's just how this game likes to do. No, oh, there's a little bit of iron. I'll take that. I mean, it's not like that's a predetermined hidden cave or anything. That's a, uh, it's all randomly generated every time you start a new world. All right, so, gonna head back here. What can we find? There's a speeder spider. A spider. Die, spider. I don't know why I was calling it that. Anyway, we got water area right here that we checked previously, and looks like a little bit of cave right up here. No, not really. There is a zombie right here. And a skeleton. That's fantastic. Uh, that sword's gonna break very soon. Probably at a very inopportune time, but we'll deal with that when it happens. Get those couple pieces of iron. Anything else? Nope. And that just takes us right back up into this cave that I've already been in, so not too much here. That's quite unfortunate, aside from that. Oh, hello, Mr. Creeper. Aside from uh, some coal that I didn't go after. Uh, let's get out of here. Ah, uh, Creeper exploded and he did nothing. Shouldn't be surprised. The whole lake right here. I'm gonna put up a couple of torches out here just to light the area a little bit better. Maybe keep a couple of mobs from spawning. It's always a good day. Uh, what else do we have around here? Anything? Anything of value at all? No caves. Hello, skeleton. You are about to die. Or fall into a pit of water. Either way, I'm not dealing with you. All right, so what do we have up here? That's my base. It's actually kind of cool. We can see it pretty well from up here. And it doesn't look like anything in the immediate area, like no villages, no caves that I can really see. It's kind of bad, actually, because like I said, we really need a village and we need some big old caves. But I do know there are some caves up on the other part of the map. I remember, you guys might remember when we were exploring a couple videos ago, there were definitely some caves up there that we can explore, so... I don't really think that's going to be that big of a problem. Like, see, here's one right here. Uh, just sort of looking around a little bit. Kind of want to chart the area on the map a little bit. Oh, wow, we're about to go off the map again. 
What do we have over here? It looks like some ocean area. Yeah, it's an ocean and looks like a big mountain, but nothing really special here. Not that I can see immediately. We got, I can see all the stars out there. They almost look like they might be a torch or something. If only they were a torch, that would signal other life. Uh, I see a skeleton though. Where are you, Skelly? Die, 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 die. And I just got hit by something from behind. Uh, let's flee across the water where they can't catch up. Any Enderman? An Enderman certainly would not be a complaint right about now. Ugh, bad timing. I knew that was going to happen at a bad time. Got to use a pickaxe on these things, which is never a good situation because it doesn't do any damage to them. Or it doesn't do enough damage. Alright, screw you, Mr. Fang. You can... You can wait in the water and die when the sun comes up. I don't care. Okay, where are we on the map now? About off the... Yeah, we're off the back corner of it. Alright, that's an area that we sort of went to previously. Ooh, we got a little cave right here. What's we got inside? Nothing at all. Shouldn't be surprised with that. Because that's been happening a lot so far. Not the best caves. What do we have here? Is that a cave? No, that's just a uh, water area. Nothing too special there. Headed into the jungle now. Uh, anything we can use in this here jungle. Oh, that's a witch over there. Avoid, avoid, avoid. Don't want to fight a witch. I hate the witches in this game. They are so freaking annoying. I'm sure there's going to be like two that spawn in here while I'm just trying to get back to base and they're going to kill me and it's going to be awful because I'm going to lose materials. Oh, that's never a good situation. Alright, let's just head back to base. Unsuccessful. I mean, we were kind of successful. We got some materials, so I guess it's not that big a deal. So guys, I think I'm about going to call it here. There isn't really much more to talk about in this video. Uh, I am going to head back to base between this video and the next one because it's right over there. So I am going to head on back to base. And after that, I will smelt stuff and I will see you guys after all that's done. Oh, wait. Bad, bad, bad. Come on, skeleton. Let me do my outro. All right. I'll see you guys next time.